This is your recipe page. It's where you search for ingredients, set the quantities, and enter packaging information. Let's start by naming our recipe and adding a tag to it. From here, we can search the database for ingredients we want to add to our recipe. Now you can filter the database by exactly the ingredients you want to see. So maybe you only want to see USDA ingredients or ingredients that were user created or that you've used in other recipes before. But for this search, we'll just look for USDA ingredients. So we'll start by searching for some sugar. As we type, the results will come up. We can preview the ingredient to make sure it's what we want to add to our recipe and then add it in. From there, we can set the quantity. So in this case, we'll do two thirds of a cup, 0.66. And then we can search for more ingredients. So I'm adding some butter and some flour and the double check marks next to those ingredients show that they're USDA verified. Um, since we filtered for that, that's all we're going to see. And you'll notice that there's lots of different units that I could choose from. In this case, I'm just using cups. So now we have a simple sugar cookie recipe. And as we were adding ingredients, the label preview on the right side was automatically populating. It looks like there's a lot of calories in this because right now it's only set to one serving, but that will change when we add the packaging information. So there's some other things you can do from here. Uh, hovering over any of the trash can icons, you can delete an ingredient. You can sort the ingredients by weight um, with the sort key above grams. And you can drag and drop an ingredient exactly where you want it, maybe if you want to order it in the way you would put it in a recipe. Also, if you can't find an ingredient that you need in the database, you can always create your own custom ingredient. This works well if you're using another brand's ingredient in your recipe. You can just copy the information from their nutrition panel and use that ingredient in your own recipe. So one final thing to note about the ingredients is setting a waste percentage. If not all of an ingredient makes it into the final recipe, you can set a percentage and it'll adjust the weight and nutritional values for that ingredient. Now you can do this on an ingredient basis or with the recipe as a whole. So if some cookie dough was left behind in the bowl, you can set that for the overall recipe and it'll adjust all of those nutritional values accordingly. So now we're on to the packaging section of your recipe and the first thing you need to do is set the net weight per package. When you enter that information, it'll show you the yield of your recipe, which should be a good sense check. And if you're not sure about the net weight per package, the best thing to do is just to weigh your final product. From there, you set the number of packages the recipe makes, in this case, just one. The serving size, we'll say two cookies, and the number of servings per package, 15. After you enter the packaging information, you'll now have a completed nutrition label. And if you had any questions along the way, remember that there's info tips throughout the entire page. If you've got questions about the recipe page or any other parts of Recipal, just let us know how we can help.